hello happy first december Woo! party time because we are opening our crafty rude fame advent calendar 2021 how cool is that and today's the first day for that advent calendar so i hope you all watched yesterday's video and started limbering up those little fingers because we're going to need them to get inside some of these doors and get some of these lovely stamps out so go and grab your calendars let's get opening this shall we so today is the first i found this one didn't i right down here in the bottom corner Let's give it a whirl, shall we? Let's see if I can do this in mid-air. There we go. Um, see, I told you it was tricky. There we go. And today's is a little bubbly tree. There we go. So don't forget, pop him on your acetate so he doesn't get lost um, and keeps him safe. But it'd be a bit boring if that's all we were going to do today. So. If you want to craft along with me, this is what you'll need. So today what we're going to do is decorate an envelope. Now I know that sounds a bit silly, but at Christmas I know a lot of us give gift cards and um, money and I think sometimes it's just nice to pop it in an envelope. Only the, the little tiny envelopes, or some gift cards do come with envelopes actually. Um, and just decorate the envelope too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sticky note first. And I know this one's a little bit big. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, I was going to cut it, but actually I think if we tear it, that could look just as nice, couldn't it? So I'm just going to tear it down. So I'm taking about a centimetre off each side, aren't I? But I'm not going to take quite as much off my sticky side. <laughs> there we go. So I'm just tearing enough. So I know that their name will fit in there. See, that's going to look nice on there but before we start we use that bit we need to stamp our tree so i'm just going to pop my tree on there pop it on upside down silly me make sure i've got my envelope the right way before i stamp it too the amount of times i've gone to decorate an envelope and i've ended up having to flap in a funny place Oof. So i'm just going to ink up my stamp make sure i do it properly and turn it around There we go, pop our ink over there. And I'm going to pop it somewhere in this bottom corner. I was going to have him at a funny angle, but then I thought, no, trees generally don't. There we go, so I've just stamped that on there. I'm going to take my post it notes as well and stamp it here. So I'm sticking it on the, uh, stamping it on the sticky edge. It doesn't matter that you can't see much of it because we're just going to chop it out so we're just going to sit and quickly just chop around <laughs> not the neatest chopping today so let's just chop all the way around do, do, do. need some cutting out music don't we I know he looks a little bit bobbly, but it's not that difficult to cut out. Then we cut his star off. And of course, once you've made one mask for these, you could do all your envelopes in one go, couldn't you? Let's go around. So my scissors aren't moving either. It's the little piece of sticky note that's moving. All the way around. one side with some pen scissors and we're just going to put that over the top just like that and we're going to pop our oh decisions because I've done a roughed up edge haven't I I'm going to do it a bit like that I've got some fancy corners haven't I I'm just going to pop that there and now I have chosen pinks and purples for mine because of who my gift card's going to so I'm just going to grab some kitchen roll And I'm just going to distress around the edge of that frame. Now, if I start going like this, all it's going to do is rough up this edge and you'll end up with colour going underneath it. So when I distress, I'm just going to take a little bit and just go from the inside out. 
go from the inside out all the way around. Yeah, I've made my tissue a bit too big, that's better. Just inside out, because if I start going this way, that paper's going to roll up. Take that out of the way. Just keep building it up as much as you want, as big as you want this frame to be. I am going to do a little bit around my tree as well. So another little bit just around my tree. Do, do, do. And it looks like we're not putting much on at all, but you'll be surprised when we come to take the mask off how much. Oops. <laughs> she says and then she went and splodged it big there. You see I'm a bit heavy handed there, so let's just make a feature out of it. Just like that. Pop in the rock a bit down there. Right. So we've got our lovely little frame there. I'm going to take this one off. And we're going to take our tree off and then all that's left to do is just colour in and use that end of my pen. Colour in the tree. Normally I would have just blasted it with my heat gun, um, but because we're on an envelope, you don't really want to hot up that, that gum that sticks it down. So if you can, give it a little bit of time between stamping it and colouring it in, just to give your ink a bit of a chance to dry. There we go, we've got that bit done. I'm going to take our gold and just add a bit of gold. I'm going to add a bit on here too. Just make sure little dots in there. I'm going to actually pop a few little dots of my own in on the rounds just to sparkle them up a little bit. There we go. And then all I would do is li well, obviously leave it to dry because my glossy, my what's it called, my gel pen will take a little bit to dry. All I've got to do then is write her name, and I've got a lovely little envelope. So that's it for day one of our event calendar. I hope you've had some fun with me today. And um, we've got our lovely little bobbly tree. There we go. And we made a beautiful little envelope. Um, for a gift card I've got you can't quite see the pink but we did we put pink around the edge and um, and I'm gonna go and pop the gift card in there and write their name on it so I don't forget what I've done with it so I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope you can come and join me again tomorrow thanks for watching bye for now